talking 1948, we're talking about 1967 war. It was June 6th. It was June 6th. Now, on the biblical calendar, it was E.R. 28. And so that's why, I mean, of course, Israel is going to go by the biblical calendar first, you know, the regular calendar second. So that's why it was, you know, it's, it's celebrated kind of both times. Jerusalem Day is celebrated on E.R. 28, and it's also celebrated on June 6th. One is more or less when it happened on the biblical calendar, and then one is when it happened on our calendar, right? Which I think was significant that it was seven, seven days before Shavuot that this event happened. Okay, what I want to do now is talk a minute about the planet Venus. You can see Mercury is the smallest one, and then Venus, and then Earth, and then Mars. And I have here the Hebrew word for Venus, and what is it? Nova. And what is your daughter's name? Nova. Okay. I have this confirmed. This is the name for the planet Venus, and we, you get the word brightness. Remember Venus is what? The bright and morning star? Okay, so that's Danny's daughter's name, is this bright, beautiful morning star. It means to be brilliant, to be clear, to be shining. I have on here this, uh, the Aramaic word is basically the same, Strong number 5053, and it means the dawn or the morning. That's why Venus is known as what? The morning star. All right? And the morning star gives most of its light just before the break of day. Okay, so here's a picture of Venus. You know, as you know, it travels. But anyway, I just want to see how bright it was. This see, Venus is known as the bright morning star. And it's the, basically the brightest natural object in the night sky next to the moon. The moon is going to be the brightest. The second brightest is the planet Venus. And Venus reaches its maximum brightness shortly before sunrise or shortly after sunset, for which reason it has been known as both the morning star and the evening star. As a matter of fact, when it's morning in one place, it's evening in the other place. Okay? In Isaiah 62.1, it says, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. For Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as no God or as Venus, and Yeshua as the lamp that burneth. So, remember what Danny was saying the other day about parallelism in Hebrew. They say the same thing twice in two different ways. So it's almost like it's saying, goes forth as Venus, and Yeshua as the lamp that burns, equating Yeshua with